All right, here we are again, uh, back in my bedroom. In this part of the video, we're gonna talk about food. I'm gonna take you through my house and show you the kitchen and show you uh, some of the food that I keep in my room so that you can get an idea of uh, what kind of foods I like um, and what foods I keep around all the time. Um, to start that, I think it's important for me to give you a little bit of an idea about um, my relationship with the things that I eat. Um, it's really inconsistent. Sometimes um, I get on these streaks of really powerful, ferocious motivation and I'll decide that I'm going to eat nothing but something that I think is healthy. So um, with that in mind, we'll go down to the kitchen, we'll check out the pantry, we'll check out the fridge, and we'll come back up here and uh, <clears throat> we'll check out my bed and my fridge. And you'll see the foods that I don't keep around the other people in my house. So let's head out. I'm gonna shut up mine. Because, um, I haven't gone shopping incredibly recently. I think I went shopping like a week and a half ago. Um, here's my green beans. I like to keep most of my canned goods up here. Um, I have my green beans, my soup, got some tomato, some chicken noodle and rice, some vegetable beef, and some chicken stars. I have a bunch of tuna. I like tuna, but I'm kind of worn out on it for right now. I usually keep a couple cans of chili because I can warm it up in the microwave. It's really easy. And what I do is I mix one can of no beans and one can with beans. And then I get what for me is the right ratio of meat and bean in the chili. I have, looks like, one can of mac and cheese left, a box of loaded mashed potatoes, and some rice. This Zatarain's rice I eat... Um, I make two boxes at a time. I probably eat a box and a half or so, and I eat it with uh, sausage. Uh, this is my section here. Um, I'm big on sandwiches. I like sandwiches with my soup. I got some ultra thin cracked black pepper turkey. Some This is a combo pack of turkey and ham. I also use that for making omelets. I got cheese. I eat a lot of cheese. Lots and lots of cheese. Usually, um, if I have chips and I make nachos, I like to make tacos. I haven't eaten in a while, though. Um, I do get, I can't believe it's not butter. I don't know if it's better for you, but it spreads, and real butter doesn't spread very easily. Sandwich cheese, some bologna. And these, this is another relic of a, of a diet plan. These are uh, Celsius drinks, your ultimate fitness partner. Um, these are meant to burn calories and reduce body fat. I've read that you burn about 100 calories with each can. I don't know if it's that that's true. I usually drink them another four pack. The freezer. We have some leftover lean cuisine meals. These are from another diet plan. I decided that these were easy to manage because you have a set list of um, you know dietary information so I knew exactly if I get one of these I knew exactly what I was getting but uh, I got burned out on those pretty quick and there were some flavors shrimp and angel hair pasta some flavors that I wasn't willing to try I was courageous when I went to the store to buy them then I got back home and decided that it wasn't for me some broccoli that you steam in the bag I have some cheese that I eat that with I um, got some hot pockets these are pepperoni pizza hot pockets and one of my very good friends, a frozen pizza. This is pizza. my fridge. Um, I keep condiments in it. So when I go and get fast food, I have my ketchup and my mayo right there so I don't have to go back downstairs and get it. Uh, I got a little bit more jelly, more raspberry. Um, we got some of these Smucker's Uncrustable sandwiches. Um, peanut butter is a real, real, I don't know if I'd call it a weakness, but I really like peanut butter. The one candy that I eat is Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Um, here's the cheese. I eat this with uh, Doritos and broccoli. I got some ranch, which is good with fries. I got a, <laughs> I forgot that was in there. I got a box of wine. Some leftover chili. Remember, I said if you eat out of Tupperware and you don't eat it all, you can put it in your fridge. 
here. Um, I got a gallon of milk. It, my nightstand snacks. This is stuff that I keep right next to me. Um, these are just things I eat while I'm laying in bed. I think there's only two things in here. There's chewy, chewy chipsters, uh, cookies, and some nacho cheese Doritos. My one, the one thing that I know for sure is my absolute biggest problem is um, drinking pop. I drink at the very minimum, I drink one two liter a day. Um, most of the time I'll drink one and a half. If I'm up for a really long time, I know that I have drank two, two liters before. But the one saving grace there is I only drink diet. I don't know if that's good or bad, but uh, the last thing I was going to show you was my my drink collection because I always have a good stock of soda pop on hand. Um, some diet, some Pepsi Max, some diet cherry Pepsi, some Mountain Dew, some Sprite Zero, some Ruby Red Squirt, and the Dr Pepper too sweet for me. Things that I was asked to do was to take food that I would eat on a bad day and lay it out so you could see an entire day's worth of food uh, in one image. And a bad day for me would be a day that I don't have anything going on, a day that I'm not in school or uh, not with doing anything with friends or family, um, a day that I'm here by myself, which happens a lot. It doesn't, I don't always go to food to fill my time, but if I'm having a bad day, if I'm depressed or if I'm really bored, then this would be typically what I would eat on a bad day. Okay. So what I've done is um, set up the camera here to look at uh, the food that I have set up. Um, I'll definitely start with breakfast. Um, this is a favorite breakfast for me. This is uh, five eggs, uh, bacon, ham, cheese, uh, four pieces of toast, and I put the butter there so you can see it. Um, after breakfast, um, I'll spend a couple hours doing, t spending time on the computer or working on homework, and when I get hungry again, eventually, uh, I'll usually have a bowl of cereal. This is um, my cereal bowl. Um, I don't always eat it completely full, but uh, that is typical cereal, and peanut butter cup is my favorite cereal. Um, more time passes. Uh, then I'll go for hot pockets, because they take three minutes to cook, and they taste good. Uh, then is usually when I'll stop eating for a little while. Um, I'll watch a movie. I'll surf the internet for a long time. I'll watch a hockey game with my friends and the roommates uh, downstairs. And then late at night, usually, or if uh, everyone's out, the next thing I'll eat is pizzas. Uh, like I said in my earlier food video, I eat pizzas two at a time. Um, with not you not always a whole bag of cheese, but usually three fourths of a bag or a bag of cheese on top, and then um, then it's time to lay down. And when I lay down, I always have some sort of snack. Um, I don't know how much I eat. Typically, I'll just have a bag and I'll eat out of it until I decide that I'm done. And oh, I forgot to throw the corned beef corned beef hash. I hated this stuff when I was a kid. I thought it was, it smelled and tasted like dog food. And now I think it's delicious. I don't know what it is. It's potatoes and meat of some kind, but I'll have that with my eggs too. It's really good. And uh, like I said, again, earlier, um, typically I'll eat, I'll drink uh, one to two, two liters per day. And uh, I don't know if I got it in my last video or not, but this is um, my soft drink, my soft drinks. I keep them cold in the fridge and I keep them on hand in the closet. So, um, I don't always eat like this. Today I ate a uh, hamburger, some corn on the cob, and some potatoes and that was it. Um, and this is what I drank today. I drank one, two liter, and a half. And yeah, I don't eat like this every day. Um, but when I have a lot of time, this is how I eat.